Today I wanted to do an unboxing for you. This weekend I went to the baby show in Mississauga and I picked up two toys um, for the kids. Um, two because of course they can't share because they like to fight over everything. So anyways, let me just jump into it. Mini micro scooter and it is a three wheel scooter and it is Swiss design. So I have a pink one and a blue one that I got for the twins. They didn't have much for me to choose from because I kind of went the last day. But um, but anyways, I went with the pink and blue. Let me just uh, unbox it for you. Here's the back of the box. So it just has a picture with a bunch of kids um, on theirs. And I got the mini micro three in one because um, Carter and Cassie are a little too young right now. They're about one and a half years old almost. And uh, they don't really know how to kick or anything like that. So, I mean, like bicycle or anything. So I got one that had the seat and that's the three in one. So I'll just show you what they can convert to after. This is the seat, and there's like fabric right here, so it's really, um, I think it's really high quality. That's one of the things I felt when I first saw it. So it says micro right on the seat. I'm just going to only open one of the boxes because obviously the other one will be the exact same. So there's the handle for one of them. Okay, so there's, this is one handle. This is the one they switch to after they've um, outgrown the other two pieces. And this is like the final stage. So this is probably after, I think, was it three years old or something? Um, this is actual kickboard. It's like a scooter, but they call it a kickboard as well. So that's, I guess that would be the general name for it. Um, and we got pink, it's like a hot pink. Here's the brake, it's really cool. So the wheels that they mentioned to me were that these were really, really high quality wheels. They're like the ones that are used like on rollerblades and stuff. So when the kids will be riding on, it's a very smooth ride for them. And um, the other thing I noticed too was um, when they're turning, um, and this will probably be easier when I show you with the, ha the handle on. But um, if you look at the axle, so it's kind of hard to see from this angle, guys. But um, if you look at the axle, see how it shifts and turns that way? And uh, it doesn't require them to kind of, like say this is the, the actual T-bar, it doesn't require them to turn like this. They're actually kind of shifting it like this more. like Almost like, um, I don't know if any of you have ever rollerbladed or skateboarded, but you kind of have to apply pressure to one side so it leans right and that's pretty much the idea I guess um, that they've done with this mm. and it has the um, name again right here it's in a sticker so it's not like a, a cheap sticker kind of I guess it's kind of I don't know if it's a cheap sticker actually but I'm not I didn't attempt to kind of peel that but yeah so I'll just let you see that here you go mini micro and this is the other handle. So this is the handle that will go with the seat. Put these two together. Um, I don't know, I keep taking it in the bag. So yeah, so these two will be used together. And uh, so with the way this works is the seat will go into the actual handle here. And there's two height adjustments right here. And uh, so when they're smaller, obviously it'll be lower for them. And uh, when they're taller, and it goes up higher. And then eventually when they outgrow this, you switch to the higher bar. And we have this the 10 safety rules sheet. That's pretty cool. And they gave the Allen keys. They gave three. There's three kinds or three types. Or sorry, there's two kinds. I think two are the exact same, but they gave it anyways. And there's an instructions manual in that. And there are two stickers that you can probably put in your car or I don't know where else you want to put it. That's it for the unboxing. So I'll show you how to set it up.
Okay, I'm just removing the screw. So this was very easy to insert. It was actually, um, I kind of know if you can see from here, but there's like an orange or red um, knob that kind of sticks out. So all you have to do is just push that in and pop it in. So same thing with just removing it. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna try and remove it. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna remove it, guys. Sorry, because um, I'm not gonna try and break a nail right now. Uh, I'll have my husband remove it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so um, I just have to remove the screw off the seat right here. So I already know this is the seat right here. I'm just gonna pick the hole I want it to be, and so you can't really make a mistake because in the seat here, if you guys look, if you guys look, if you guys can see, sorry. There's um, a piece that sticks out, like a little knob that sticks out right here. And then there's the screw hole here. And on the actual handle, um, there are two holes. So one hole is for the knob to go in and the screw to go in the other side. So right now my babies are very small. And I already know Cassidy kind of takes it in the first one. Because we tried her at the baby show. I'm just going to put it in now. Very easy, guys. And I believe it's probably the big one. Yes. And okay, there you go. That is it. It's easy. And uh, so, so instead of turning like, remember what I mentioned to you guys that instead of turning like, like a T-bar would go like this, like a bike when you ride it like that, you'll just kind of lean it instead to turn. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm unboxing the second one right now, guys. Okay, the seat and the screw. I'm just gonna unscrew it now because I already know I have to unscrew it. I'll just obviously put it away carefully. Oh, I guess that comes off. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, my piece is missing now. Oh, I didn't get it. Look guys, I'm actually, I just noticed I'm missing this piece here for my pink one. Cause it's supposed to kind of cover this part here. That's the thing I noticed that whenever time every time I bought things, I've always bought two. Oh, never mind. Never mind, guys. I found it. That's so weird. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> okay, let me just put it back. On. That was easy to put in. All you have to do is align um, the the shape of it, and the well, the screw went in really easily. And that's it, guys. There you go. That looks much better because um, when I screwed it in, it actually scratched the paint just a little bit, but that's okay. It's covered anyways. So that was my unboxing and putting it all together for you. Um, when the kids wake up, I'm going to get a clip of them trying it on for the first time. So I'll add that to the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any questions about the product, please um, 
leave the questions down below and also I believe this I feel this is a really high quality product. Um, just looking at it and just like feeling everything, it's a high quality plastic. The rubber is really good. The handle on the like, grips, everything. I mean, the, um, the handle grips, everything are really, really great quality of rubber, high quality rubber. Um, but yeah, so that was just really, it's really just an unboxing. So if you guys really want to know the review, I'll do a review um, after the kids have tried it out a little bit more outside and everything else, just to explain like how they liked it, how long it took them to get used to everything. Um, so yeah, if you want me to review, please leave your comments down below and I will make that for you. So give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. I will see you guys next time. Bye.